chemical bonding chemical bonding <clears throat> so chemical bonding amra whatever we studied in olivals so olivals se amra jigula porechilam those were all intra <clears throat> molecular intramolecular which means which is present within a molecule within a molecule so we studied we studied about ionic bonding we studied about covalent bonding there's a new term which is dative covalent bonding which we did not study dative covalent bonding so it, this is a type of covalent bonding and then obviously we studied metallic bonding we studied about metallic bonding see the third point dative covalent bonding dative covalent bonding নতুন করে আমরা পড়বো যেটা উই অল ইন ব্রড টার্ম ইন আ ব্রড টার্ম উই স্টাডিড ইন্টারমলিকুলার ইন্টারমলিকুলার ফোর্সেস অর বন্ডিং ইন্টারমলিকুলার ফোর্সেস সো ইন্টারমলিকুলার ফোর্সেস ইন্টারমলিকুলার ফোর্সেস देयर আর থ্রি টাইপস নাম্বার 1 so these are between the molecules between the molecules this is between the molecules so amra jeta for what we studied in olivals was van der waals forces which can also be named as temporary dipole dipole forces and then that can be also known as london forces karan it has been found out by a person named as london and then it can also be named as instantaneous dipole dipole forces instantaneous instantaneous jeta tumra physics se poro instantaneous velocity so it can also be known as an instantaneous forces so instantaneous forces basically mane holo je which is for a very short time for a very short time fraction of a second er jonno it's because of a fraction of very short time so that's instantaneous dipole dipole forces tarpor hobe permanent dipole dipole forces so permanent dipole dipole forces from the name from the name we are being able to know j permanent means that it's for a long time permanent means that it's going to be for a long time and finally hydrogen bonding
हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग so hydrogen bonding is the strongest type is the strongest type of inter molecular forces strongest type of inter molecular forces is everybody done yes yes sir yes sir okay next say that intramolecular forces are ionic bonding covalent bonding metallic bonding covalent bonding er ekta sub type is dative covalent bonding the sub type is dative covalent Uh, let's have a look on. Let's have a look of the syllabus. So this is chemical bonding. Are you being able to see the syllabus, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. So ionic. So chemical bonding. We have ionic bonding. We have covalent bonding. So ionic bonding, amra olevel se jeta porechi. It's very much like that, but obviously, we learn a few, few more things in details. And then covalent bonding at echo. There is covalent bonding and date and coordinate or dative covalent. So dative covalent can also be. named as coordinate bonding so covalent bonding er ekhon covalent bonding in molecules such as hydrogen oxygen chlorine so ami ajke i'll ask you something uh, i'll ask uh oishika hey. oishika yeah covalent bonding er bhitore amra koy how many types of covalent molecules are there how many types of covalent molecules eta ki abar mane ekta mol ekta molecule er bhitore strong weak ha 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 strong weak giant no that, those are structures kaif um <laughs> kaif Yes, sir. Types of covalent molecules. Sir, I know about the structures. I don't know what is all. So, to me, Jody, if you consider hydrogen, hydrogen has how many atoms in a molecule? One. How many Electro. atoms in a molecule? Single, double. Oh, 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 ten. Yeah. How many atoms in a molecule? Two. 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 Acha. So uh, is it? It's it's a diatomic molecule, right? It's a diatomic molecule. Yes. So if you have just one atom, if you have just one atom, what do you call them? Monoatomic. Monoatomic, monoatomic molecule. 
monoatomic molecule. And then if you have more than two, what do we call them? Polyatomic. Polyatomic, Polyatomic molecule. So, Tumra, you know these things, but due to lack of practice, you forgot. So, anyways, then we have coordinate bonding. So, coordinate bonding, I'll just go through what is the difference. Covalent bonding, it's sharing of electrons. It's sharing of electrons. So, sharing of electrons. Uh, sharing of electrons is jamon for high if you have two if you have two hydrogen atoms then each of the hydrogen atom will give one of the electrons that's covalent bonding <clears throat> but in dative covalent bonding both the electrons both the electrons will be donated by one of the atoms. So that's a basic difference. Tarpur, I'm a covalent bond. And then, and then we'll, we'll be studying about orbitals. So chapter three, we studied about S subshell, P subshell, D subshell. So then we again, we also studied about their shapes. Now we have to study about how they overlap. What is what is covalent bond? We have to study in details. And then <clears throat> different molecules have different Different molecules have different shapes. Why do they have different shapes? We have to study about that too. So these are about covalent bonding. And then we have <clears throat> intermolecular forces, electronegativity and bond properties. Then we have metallic bonding and then we have bonding and physical properties. So it's going to take us <clears throat> at least seven to seven to eight classes. I uh, will go very, very slowly on this because a chapter is a very crucial and vital chapter. A lot of chapter, other chapters or other conceptions depends on these chapters. So you don't know if you have any question, don't hesitate. Please ask me. Very, very, very important. Very, very important chapter. So please do not hesitate on asking me questions.